Williams stays up forward with Barry Hall, so going with uh, two prongs. They got Jones at centre half forward, so pretty much as it was. And Sewell goes with the hands. His opposite went with the feet. And he grabs the ball, Hodge looking dangerous from just inside 50, lets it rip and offline. In the end, Higgins on his left side. Look at the pickup by Gibson, great. Look at the numbers, BT. Now there's four to one. Rioli, that left footer, in fact, was the young fella in Howard. Even the bad kicks are hitting targets. Yeah, here's Puopolo, stretching mark by Ruffhead. I reckon your point though, Jared. You've got just watching Dal Morris there. Right with me. So you. Roughhead will line up for goal directly in front, well within his range, and there's a good start for the Hawks. They lead it by 39. Not a planned move, Jared, but it's been a good move, Roughhead into the rough. It's really Love freed it. him up, and you know, he's now getting a fair bit of the footy and kicking goals as well. Well, I think if you look forward and they're they're taking on Essendon or they're taking on Carlton or the Magpies, uh, when it really gets down to the business end, they look stronger to me if he's in the ruck, just because it adds to their mobility through the middle of the ground. Yeah, I absolutely agree. It was probably a problem area for them going into the season, but with the sub rule, he's the perfect yeah. second ruckman because he can play forward and kick your goals. It was free, had a Paddock Lewis. Now picked up by Howard. Inside 50, not great. Savage gets on the end of this once again. They try again. This time it's not as clean. Although the effect is better. Shields, handball wide. Rioli, the magnificent slip of the sidestep. Gives it on to Osborne. Straightens up on the right boot. Kicking the square to Bruce. Well, I think they should have done better with that one, Bruce. I think Bruce was waiting for the long bomb to get it over the back, but he should have actually led at him. Well, they're going to push Jones, it seems, as the key forward. But I reckon they should try a different structure, Ruzi, with a small. And Sherman's a good little fellow who can play in the goal square. Well, you're right. And we talked about the talls. That, that sort of hasn't worked because they have, probably haven't persevered with as much with Williams down there. I mean, you could always put Lake, but I don't mind Hill out of the goal square or Sherman out of the goal square as well. Griffin out of the goal square for a breather out of the midfield. Higgins somehow got boot to ball there. He was very lucky because Buddy had him in a very nice tackle. Ruckhead likes his left, Good. and that is just clever to Guerra. It's just great vision. The pressure was there, but it wasn't 100%. Guerra. Directly in front. Nice. 48 metre goal. Hawks have got two in this third quarter unanswered. I think the key to that, Gerard, you mentioned is I think Ruffy knew that someone would turn up, whereas the other way around, the Bulldogs are panicking because they're not they're not sure their teammate's going to run the space, run to support them, run to get the handball. You, really good tackle here, but you just watch Ruffy, as you mentioned here. He doesn't panic, just takes a little bit of time, and he's got enough confidence that someone will be there. But it's a, a really nice execution of, uh, of his skill, and, and they've been like that the whole day. Gathers... On the Doug Hawkins wing, sends the ball forward to Williams, he's kicked two so far, nice little paddle pop in front of Higgins who looked to be going half rat par after that, Hodge tidies it up, Birchall and Burgoyne to Osborne, soaked up some wood pressure. Well that was just, had to be perfect to come off and it was perfect. <laughs> now Shields. He's got Sewell on further down. And further, if, if Sewell can get back on the man mark quick enough, he couldn't. Bruce was on. Buddy was deep if he wanted. But he wouldn't go to him deep because there's some chance of it being turned over. Yeah. So they are clearly instructed. 40 metres, 35 metres is about to... Well, only the kicker knows whether he can get it there, doesn't he? Yeah. And here is Lewis. Nice little present-up play. And now comes Buddy. Ball beautifully presented to him. And Buddy Marks right on 50. Instinctively. Franklin lines up for his fourth goal. Distance won't be a problem from here for Franklin. Kick on the way is offline, though. And the Dogs charge is halted. Simple as that. On the line, the cross takes a very nice mark. Got it in the hands of Howard. Although not secured, 
Wood, risky one to Morris. The big arms of Franklin were there to knock the ball out, and that's a high uh, tackle. Isn't it funny? The dogs got the ball, had one kick. Yeah. One kick turnover, shot at goal. What was disappointing, though, for the dogs was had that kick hit the target, they'd already set up the loose, and they were going to rebound really well. Proust from 35 metres. Has he let them off the hook? He has. So the dogs, still a big show. He's had 17 possessions and three goals. So uh, who, who said that? That was reasonably accurate, wasn't it? I don't know who said it, but <laughs> I think it's been proven wrong by the fact, number one, he's played his 200, and number two, he's playing well. <laughs> Just got to get everything right here now. Uh, the dogs can't afford sloppy free kicks. Oh, they're on. White Cross has got loose. Piopolo sees him around the corner. Now Ward needs to hold up the mark. The Hawks trying to find a way forward. White Cross, magnificent kick to Guerra. Guerra takes the mark. He thinks about going from 50 metres out. He hammers a long ball. Guerra, Rioli with the Shepherd. The Hawks fight back. That's a, was it White Cross, Jerry? That's a, that's a magnificent kick from White Cross. I was watching Lake. Lake was just going across to where Buddy Franklin was, expecting that ball to go straight down the line. And that kick across from White Cross, across from White Cross, that's hard to say. Uh, to Guerra and a really nice finish. Here we see it here. Yeah, and he spots him up, doesn't he? Rizzi, I just want to emphasise the point that you made earlier now. If that had been a Bulldogs player, they would have gone. Yeah. He actually had the smarts, Guerra, and the experience, obviously, not to play held a skelter footy, to just assess the situation, and then he played on because he could see it was right. Virtual to Murphy. Dogs. One on one everywhere else on the ground at the moment. Except there. Well, the trademark Except seems to there. be, Ruzi, to look like you're going to kick at 50 and then kick at 30. Yeah, it does. It, they really clear out that lane and have the guy running towards it. No, a bit but slow there, buddy. Had to be the quick handball. Gee, how is that not a free kick? He had lots of prior opportunity. He didn't kick it or handball it. It has to be a free. Now, Buddy gets back and takes the mark. Now, Morris... Says, what do I got to do? Yeah, you've got to feel for Dale Morris. I mean, he's been really, really good today. Worked extremely hard against uh, probably arguably the most talented player in the competition. It's a good contest here. There's One, the... two, three steps. Go on. Just go on. I mean, that's got to be a free kick. You've got to pay that. I'm all about protecting the ball carrier and protecting the guy for going for the ball. But if you take two or three steps, that's got to be a free kick to the tackle. Buddy Franklin lines up for his fourth goal. This is in his zone. It's swinging back. Not quite enough. And a minor score in the end. I mean, there are not many that can pick it consistently. Not two and one, though. No, you, if you're running 50%, you're going okay, aren't you? Yeah, you know you're getting lucky if you get two in. Dale Thomas kicked one from just a little closer than that last week. My ball. Burgoyne just steps through well, that traffic. Brilliant, that Amber. Was to Birchall. Tap. Lewis went for that. He's listening, Jared. Hodge, quick hand, savage. Lewis, Hodge from 50 out. Spearing ball. Fantastic out of nothing. And Bruce. Yeah, I've loved Hodge's game today. As, as I said, I, just, I always used to, as an opposition coach, I wasn't that worried about him playing down back. But, yeah, 28 possessions, two goals. His ball use is exceptional. He's starting to get really fit now. And he, he's arguably... You know, one of their, he's certainly Franklin. I rate him up there as one of their real keys, Jared. Bruce from about 48 metres out. Looks pretty good, the kick. It's all about the length. Has it got it touched on the line by Minson? That's why Ruckman need to get back. They need to get cracking here, the dogs. They're 25 down. You can see the clock ticking down to under nine. Buddy comes down to the back line to... Assist. Mitchell's caught in the tackle. Sherman. Has he disposed of it legally? He certainly has now. Hawthorne could be out of the loop here. Lewis gathers. He's got runners on the inside. Puopolo gives it to the absolute sprinting buddy. He took a bounce in the face of Boyd and rammed it down the throat of Roughhead. Great running from the kick, Puopolo. It was a nice win off the back, but... Uh... Lewis knew that there'd be some support there, and I think Garoppolo knew his legs didn't go as fast as Buddy's. <laughs> I tell you what, just watching Buddy Franklin run, 
Ben, how would you like to be six foot six BT, run like that, and play AFL football today? It is unbelievable. Rough head to finish off the buddy work, and Hawthorne extend the margin to 31. Unbelievable stuff through the middle of the ground. I mean, it's hard enough to run that fella. What's his delivery here to rough head? And the bounce. And the bounce, if you don't mind. And look at that kick. It's just could, a beautiful kick. Could be good and ISO, but uh, just that last bounce when he took the bounce and the ball come back into his hand, it was already set for the kick. He didn't have to then fiddle to get it into position. Absolutely magnificent. Rough head, by the way, kicks his second goal of the day. And to Shoe and make us. It's just a great story, though, getting him out there and getting some games under the belt. I think that's the key to him at the moment. It's good to see him out there. He's competing well on the ruck, getting his hands on the football. Just his eighth career game, Max Bailey. Been there in a, a long time. So, asked to move it on. By the way, Hawthorne have got Fremantle at the MCG next week. As Franklin looking for the give and go, wanted it so desperately back, and Bruce said, No, buddy, I'm going to have a shot at goal. Look, he'll be kicked five today, Bruce. He's had a bit of a nightmare in front of goal. If you're not playing well, true home ground advantage down there. Sewell to the middle, finds Puapolo. Wide to Suckling, who's a left footer, remember, and Eastern Wood senses that, blocks that option off. Now Hodge. They've played some beautifully controlled football at times when needed Hawthorne today. And they certainly look like they're getting back to the 2008 4 Lewis, and they are genuine competitors this year. Their game will get better. Here's Rioli, took it off Buddy, and that takes them to ring through some yeah. traffic and a little skip for a kick. Oh boy, Cyril, wowee, goes on to Osborne, got the kick away. Give that one to Cyril, though, as Buddy takes a look at Cyril and says, boy, you were even better than I were. <laughs> is it fair to have them two playing the same team? Oh, that's harsh, isn't it? <laughs> that was just magic uh, from Cyril, just the way he... Uh, he just sold everybody a move and then did a completely different move. <laughs> he's, 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 he's just so quick and so agile, isn't he? Good effort to get Osborne to get that ball to boot as well. Yeah, just a great little shimmy there. Yeah, it's magnificent. Just, I think the dog supporters stayed and watched the replay of that, and now yeah. they're going. I think even Rocket was applauding that, that's yeah. how good it was. Certainly when they've been uh, in the same phone box, he's done a good job. Mm. Hawthorne back into play. Shields involved here. Now Guerra. Nice little kick. There's an opportunity here for Bruce. Bruce wide to Savage. Hawthorne making some ground shot makers. Siren sounds. Good win here for the Hawks, 29 points, they win it by in the end.